it was it was a uh, this is a tough sport and uh, I'm, I'm sure that all you guys know that this is a tough sport uh, if you don't know now you know uh, yo know, it's, it's, it's much different behind you know seeing out of my eyes than seeing through you guys camera lenses uh, this is a very tough sport um, all boxes should be well respected uh, I'd like to thank my team my manager Jay Prince my promoters Gary Shaw, Antonio Leonard, my trainer, Fred Jenkins, and uh, the whole ABC gym, the whole Philly, and uh, everybody who I uh, everybody who I've omitted, all my team that came out here, uh, all of my fans and all of my supporters. It's been one hell of a ride. Five years, January 2009, I, I walked into the boxing gym. And look at me now. Uh, the fight? The fight was uh, it's something that I'm used to. Uh, I, I never watched tape on Perez. Uh, I actually attended just the one fight with him and Magomed for it. Um, I was actually supporting uh, Gennady Golovkin and Curtis Stevens. Um, other than that, I've never seen nothing on him. And I worked well. I adjusted. Uh, I probably could have started out better, but you know I'm learning. Yo, know, Perez had over 400 and whatever, 50 fights total, amateur and, and professional. Me, 36, amateur and professional, five years. But no excuses, I won, I got the win. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for coming, thank everybody who had me winning. It was a great work, workhorse type performance, and I'm pleased with it. Still got to go back and look at it, but I'm pleased with it. Any questions? From the media, anyway. Did you think the Speak fight, loud. Did you think the fight was that close, and do you think um, the point should have been taken away from Mikey Perez at the end? Uh, everybody heard this question? Yeah. Okay, uh, he actually, did I think the fight was that close, and do I think that the point should have been taken away? Uh, something something had to happen. Um, the ref warned him, you know, numerous of times, and, you know, it was, it was, over, it was over 10 times, 10 warnings. Um, if, if, if the ref tells you something that, that he doesn't approve of, you know, you, you, I mean, you can sneak a little one in there every now and then, but he repeatedly did it and he showed disrespect to the ref by saying that, I don't care what you say, this is my only way of getting to him in that manner, so I'll continue to do that. Uh, other than that, the fight being close, uh, I felt as though that I did win the fight. I had no worries. I had no worries at all. Uh, even, even with that first scorecard, I had no worries. Um, if, if, if the fight would have went the other way, I was ready for any outcome. I was ready. I was ready to lose. I was ready to win. I was ready to get knocked out, and I was ready to knock somebody out. So that's the things. Those are the type of things that we had to prepare for when we step into those four squares. Next question. Uh, 